Got him. Well, welcome back to another episode of Zach the Fisherman. We are night fishing. Uh, for something other than walleye, something that I'm gonna eat. Greasy, dirty, burbot, lingcod, mariah, lawyer, whatever you want to call it. I got that guy on the rattle bait tipped with some minnow. It's been a tough, tough bite. I've been here since three. Greasy burbot. What a strange, strange fish. Barbell and everything on there. I'm gonna bonk this guy. So, I'm gonna be honest with you, this was supposed to be a whole burbot video, me catching burbot. But, three hours later I caught this. course as my GoPro dies I'm about to catch a fish I am look got him I think that's pike I think that's pike or I hooked him weird one of the two I'm just gonna Rock with this camera right here. Point that downwards. Yeah. Pike, not the target species, but it's a little bit of action, I guess. It's a hammer handle. Not per se what I wanted to catch, but <laughs> well, I just got slapped. But it's a fish. Let's get the beauty release. Graceful. It was a tough bite. I did catch a couple fish, but I did manage to keep a burbot. So uh, as you can probably tell by this title already, we're making burbot calamari. Let's get to it. So a few ingredients you need, of course. You need your burbot fillets some batter. All I'm using is a 50-50 mixture of breadcrumbs and pancake batter. It doesn't really matter the brand. Just those two together and a little bit of seasoning salt in there and you guys got yourself some really good batter. And then also what I'm using is I'm using some jalapeno peppers just to make it a little bit more spicy. I like spicy food. You don't have to use the jalapeno peppers but let's get to cutting up the fillets into the proper shape that we need them. Okay, so I have a video on YouTube on how to fillet a burbot. It's super easy. It's best if you do it right when they're fresh before they freeze because then the skin just gets stuck and you don't quite get all the meat that you can. Yeah, and you get three pieces off that, two side pieces and the belly piece. The belly piece is, in my opinion, my favorite piece. It is very tasty. This burbot calamari, what I'm making, it's, I feel like that's going to be the best piece for it. And then the two side pieces, I don't know what I'm doing. This is kind of just me trying something new, something a little different, but let's get to it. Chop up this fish just so it's a little bit manageable pieces. Calamari is kind of small, squid shaped. This is not squid, this is fish, this is burbot. So all I'm doing is taking that, cutting that in half, two inch little pieces, inch and a half. I don't know. I'm just slicing them up till they're nice. There you go. That's all I got out of the belly. Now for the sides. So this is the this right here. I'll turn it the right way first of all. This is the tail. That's the piece that I want primarily on this. This is like the body. This is the meatier piece. This might even just be good as just a fried fish. But I'm going to just, same thing, I'm going to cut it in half, right on that line, all the way to the tail. Oh, this knife is a little dull. And then I'm going to just eyeball it. There we go, and just repeat with the other side, the other one. Maybe we'll cut this one into some thinner pieces, too. Some chunks. Just chunk it out. Because we want it to cook consistently because we're flash frying this, cooking it real quick. 
There we go. There we go, and then just pat this all dry. Try and get most of that moisture off. Because water and oil is never good. Now, it's time to get the oil hot. So we can fry this fish. You want it as hot as possible. We're gonna be flash frying it, small batches, just so it's not cooling the oil too much when we actually drop it in. Now to mix everything in. Throw my jalapenos in there, fish. Add some of your batter mixture. You just wanna lightly coat it in this. Let's get ready to toss it around. Let it get lightly coated just like so. Now I think the grease is ready. Ooh, that oil's getting warm. That is ready. So I'm only doing a few pieces at a time. One handful. And now we just wait. Just a little bit. I don't think this is the right tool. But that does look good. I hope this turns out well. There we go. Time to throw some more in. Wait another two minutes. Now we wait. So there we have it, burbot, calamari, or nuggets, whatever you want to call it. I like calamari, so I'll call it calamari. Yeah, it's kind of the same. It's definitely burbot. Definitely not squid, but... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and... Uh, I'll see you guys on the water next and hopefully you don't have this situation again. <laughs>